and I didn't sleep very well through the night. <laughs> I didn't go. Uh... And I wish you all your mothers a very happy Mother's Day. Mm. Let's go. So we'll go for a drive, we'll start flying somewhere. Uh, so now we are in New South Wales. And, uh, they do a lot of skiing here. Right up to Oakland's and ski. Yeah. Hotel. Someone singing there. Here in Moala. So, uh, for the time being, at the moment. May Trev, welcome. Today is Monday, start of a new day, start of a new week. <laughs> it's a brand new week. Uh, of course, Josh from the Super and Sunshine, he says, it's a brand new day. <laughs> but he doesn't mention, it's a brand new week. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, mine was good. And of course, of course, Saturday, I didn't go to the Violet Town Market that I wanted to, but um, I slept in, unfortunately, and I didn't sleep very well through the night, so um, I would have to go a little bit earlier in the morning because um, it's only that market only goes from about eight o'clock and finishes about one o'clock in the afternoon. So um, that is always the next time, next time. So I didn't go anywhere on Saturday, but yesterday, of course, on Sunday. I went to um, pick a town, pick a town, yes, yeah, so that'll be in this vlog, so you'll enjoy it, you'll enjoy that. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit, and uh, yeah. Today is Saturday, 8th of May, yes, and what are you doing? <laughs> now, look, I did mention I was going to the Violet Town Market, but unfortunately I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go. Um, I slept in, well, sort of, I didn't, well, I had a late night, and um, I couldn't sleep very well, so um, I had to have that extra sleep this morning. I would have had to get up a little bit earlier. I would have been knackered. So, um, I was put off. So I had to sleep in. <laughs> so, it's always next time. I'm down like it. So, um, now I'm just cleaning my car out. It needs to clean. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was always another time to the Violet Town Market. And, uh, so, uh, yes, we still got to find that woman. Find that woman for the, our film. <laughs> so, and also we look for a kitchen as well. <laughs> yes, a woman. Your wife, you can have me. No, not you, Mary. Hello, my hair. You can have me as your wife, Trev. No, go away, Mary. Hey, for the film. What? You don't want me? No! Oh. Tree.
Hey Trev, welcome. Today is Sunday. It's Sunday, 9th of May, and today is Mother's Day, of course. And I wish you all your mothers a very happy Mother's Day. And uh, so, anyway, and uh, I've come down here to the cemetery to uh, pay my respects to my mum. So, anyway. Let's go and check her out, hey. Let's go and see Mum. We'll go, we'll do it. And I hope you're having a great day too. So this is our cemetery in Wangaratta. Where all my family, friends, have been buried. Most of them anyway. So we're going to look for my Mum's grave. And Dad as well. And my little sisters. I had two sisters. And uh, they were infants. They died. Mm. Let's go and have a look. There's fun. There you go. Oh, the lovely flowers. The beautiful flowers. Yeah. I had, and there's my little uh, metal stem. Flower stem. I planted that. Uh, I think it was last Christmas, something like that, yeah, and uh, yes, happy birthday mum, happy Mother's Day mum, <laughs> yes, yeah, and uh, even though I don't have a mum anymore, and um, I sympathise for those, you no longer have a mum. So, um, but they're in spirit. And uh, at the moment it's raining. It's spitting rain, crying. Yes, <laughs> mum's crying. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I've got no flowers, but what's the use? Flowers are going to die anyway. I don't think mum would mind. So, I'm just sparing my thoughts and prayers to my mum and uh, not only mum but my dad as well my dad Harold and my two sisters Gary and Sandra mm. spare a thought with you, I can be sad with you just take my hand Fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear with you. Gosh. I wanna stay with you. And also my dad. I mean we've had good times. With you. I love the way that you like me. Too close. Now, so I'm just gonna go out for a drive. I haven't got Peter with me today um, because he's gone with another driver uh, because the job that I work for they take him out second every second Sunday of every month so uh, that leaves me on my own <laughs> what are we gonna do so we'll go for a drive we'll start flying somewhere we might go up the Arrawonga what do you reckon Peter and I always like to go up the Arrawonga check things out see how we go we can't do great a lot of walking because it's raining, <laughs> spitting rain. So uh, it's forecast for rain. It's supposed to be tomorrow, really, Monday. Um, to, so I think today is sort of building up with the rain for Monday. So I think the rain has come already. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'll see you down the road. Yep. Pick a town. Pick a town. Pick a town, it's your town, no it's my town, it's everybody's town, my town. Pick a town. We're just about leaving um, Yarrawonga. And we're going across 
Lake Mowila. So from Yarrawonga we're going across the bridge, a very long bridge, and uh, of course we're just leaving, starting to leave Victoria State. This is very narrow. They're trying to get rid of this bridge and build a new one apparently. But I don't know, it's another rug with it. Just a bit narrow, that's it. They're trying to make it a bit, bit wider. That's what they're worried about, I think. So, uh, so now we are in New South Wales. In a town called Mulwala. That's our picker town, of course. Look at that, roast all day. $14 for membership at the Yarrawonga Services Club. There's uh, the Capri Waters on the right. There's some really good resorts here, very much like the Gold Coast. They're always saying, who needs Gold Coast when you come to, when you can come to Mole Whaler? And uh, there's a lot of resorts on the left and right. So we're just gonna be traveling through the town of Mole Whaler. On the left is actually, um, well, it's a sort of a dynamite factory, <laughs> ammunition factory. We've got the mini golf for all ages on the left hand side, so you kids, if you like mini golf, there it is, op shop on the left. Then we've got the uh, Moela Ski Club on the right, Lake Edge Resort on the right, museum on the left. And uh, oh, there's a lot of store here in Mowala. And especially in the summertime, it gets very touristy. And we have the Royal Mail Hotel on the left. I believe they've got some very good, me good meals there. Gotta go there one night. Paradise Palms on the left. Lots of resorts on the right. We've got a butchery. This is the, this is the main centre of uh, Mowala. Lots of nice little shops. We have a grocery store on the left. Pub on the right. And uh, church on the left. So that's Hotel Mulwala on the right. And uh, so uh, so we're uh, we're in New South Wales, so this is the actually on New South Wales border. So we've got a public school on the left. Food works, grocery store on the left. Got a lovely park on the right. That goes to the waters. So, uh, a steam train on the right. So this is Lake Mulwala. And of course, we're in Mulwala on the New South Wales. And of course, someone is over there, a young girl singing over there somewhere. I think it could be a pub. I don't know who she is, but she sounds pretty good. And of course, <laughs> my whaler, that's where I am, yes. Where am I? Yes, my whaler. Pick a town, that's our pick a town, my whaler. And uh, they do a lot of skiing here. They have a ski club, so this is probably one of the largest, or one of the biggest ski resorts in the area. So, um, 
you want to learn how to ski well this is the place to come to yeah and that's Yarrawonga over there and that's Eastern Victoria so we're actually on the border we're actually between New South Wales and Victoria and as you can see it's pretty well overcast today not raining but we are going to get rain <laughs> that's a swimming area people come here for swimming lovely little park here so um, just gonna go for a little bit of a walk why not <laughs> and of course yeah yeah mulwhaler is also part of the uh, the wheat grain territory because um, on the out on the northern side of um, Mawala, uh, wheat, wheat country, and grain, and uh, so Mawala's got lots in store here, especially in the summertime, during the holidays, school holidays. This place gets busy <laughs> with people everywhere. So here we go. We're walking along the path. The swimming pool. As you can see, some resorts way in the distance. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice little town, Mawala. Oh, it's a very cozy, cozy little town. And uh, it's really, it's really grown. This town. Yeah, we've got some uh, little white and grey furry friends. Seagulls. Yes. Now, you wouldn't want to have lunch here because you'll get invaded. Especially pelicans. There are pelicans. So, if you're having fish and chips here in the park, be careful because these seagulls are very hungry and they will get your food same with the pelicans they're very tempting <laughs> oh yes <laughs> all right I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk about and see what else we can find A black friend yep a visitor hello hello what's your name Look at that steam train. Wow. How's that for a steam train? <laughs> yeah. J507. Look at that. 
one big piece of machinery. Train drivers going up. Little train drivers. The thing about trains here in Moala, the railway line used to go from Banella right up to here through Yarrawonga. Moala then used to carry on further right up to Oakland's. I think it's Lockhart, Urano and those places, places. Then there was a junction at Boree Creek. So we're going to do that sometime. Remember the film we did a couple of years ago on Trev's travels? Um, the, we, I did a film from Banala to Yarrawonga along the railway line. and I showed you all the, the, the railway line and the towns. We went as far as Yarrawonga because that's where the railway line, line service stopped from there. So there's no trains running through here at all. There used to be, so that's all been cut out. So, um, so I'm going to continue with that, Trev's Travels, going from Mawala, going north, and do the rest of the journey right up to Boree Creek. And the rock, I think the rock, um, and perhaps we may even go to Wagga. We, we don't know. We need a full day for it, so it'll be good. Yeah. So there's the train, and we've got a children's playground down here. Where children can uh, amuse themselves, swings, all sorts of places. Look, they got a yeah, great. Kids will enjoy that. That's the entrance, Pertle Park, Venture Playground. And we've got a couple of pelicans, of course. This, is, this place, Mawailo, is prone to the pelicans. And the Pertle Playground is named after Jack, John Jack Purtle, from 1910 to 1969. Okay, let's push on. <laughs> I've been enjoying this journey. <laughs> and uh, it's a nice place to relax, chill out. Yeah. <laughs> So this is another thing that my whaler is noted for, fish, camp and ski. Yeah. It's the Civic Centre. We have a post office over there. Don't have a post office. Hotel here, Moela Hotel. Yeah. 
So now I'm heading back to the car, heading home. Someone singing there. Well, I hope you enjoyed my journey in pick a town here in Mawaila. Come to Mawaila someday, and I'll see you next time in my next pick a town. Yeah. Okay, now I've just come back home. It's late in the afternoon, and uh, finished work. It's my driving. Yeah. And uh, it's absolutely raining. It's raining outside at the moment, and uh, but it's not pouring, but it's just constant rain. So I knew we were going to get it. So uh, yes, got home in time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your weekend, and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. And I shall see you Friday. Yeah. So we're back to the same routine now. But I'm doing Friday. And Monday uploads, yes. So uh, for the time being, at the moment, so I'm still looking for a rental house at the moment. And um, so once that, once I start moving out, that's when I'll have to stop uh, vlogging for a little while and uploading, and uh, because it'll be just too much. So um, so we've got to hang ten for a while now, which is good. Yes, good to see it. And I've got my keyboard here. I've been, I've been playing, I've been practicing songs and um, with the keyboard. So um, you know, with the keyboard, I'm sitting down, so I think it's fine. And I love the keyboard. I really do. Anyway, great harmony, peace. Bye. I shall see you Friday. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. <laughs>